Luxury hotel brands such as Kempinski, Hilton and Marriott have received a warm welcome in Dominica. Boutique, eco-friendly resorts including the recently relocated Jungle Bay and the sustainable Secret Bay residencies behind me are also carving their own niche. But it's not about the number of tourists here. It's about the quality and the spend per family rather than quantity. We talk to the entrepreneurs who had the vision to build these tourist facilities sold through the Citizenship by Investment Scheme and ask about their future plans for expansion of the tourism industry. Sam Raphael, your original Jungle Bay Resort was hit by Tropical Storm Erica in 2015. Is the new version identical or does it have its own character? We rebuilt in a manner that is more climate resilient with the, uh, with the uh, expectation that we'll have more uh, natural disasters. And so it's a bit more rigid, but we try to soften it as much as possible. So in terms of the physical property, it, uh, we kept the stone and the wood, but uh, it's a lot stronger than the old one. But in terms of the experience of the guest, I think we like what we, what we were doing and I think we're going to try to keep that as much as possible. I was in, I am and was in the software field in, a, in South America, um, but I had a very special attachment to this particular property. So every time I came back to Dominica, I would find my way to Secret Beach and Secret Bay. And when the opportunity came to, to purchase land here, I obviously was very very keen on it and I would say that I have acquired the land at Secret Bay in about 10 different transactions over 20 years and the intention was to just build our family home here. There was no, uh, no plan to build this but it morphed into an eco luxury property and we hope one day to actually have a home within the residences of Secret Bay but as of now it's and that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> the vision about Kempinski development, it came as actually a shared vision between the government of Dominica and Range Development. And we partnered with Kempinski, who are the oldest hotel chain in the world. And this is their first hotel in the Caribbean. And they are well known in Europe and the Far East. The vision was actually to transform uh, Dominica from a three-star destination to five-star destination. As you're aware, Marriott is the biggest hotel brand in the world. And being associated with a brand such as this will take care of a substantial part of our marketing needs. The Citizenship by Investment program is very critical in assisting us to transition from, what, from agriculture into tourism. But we're not, we're not under any illusion that the Citizenship by Investment program is going to last forever. The program is very vulnerable on many, many fronts, some of which we have no control over. So we have to seize the moment and do the best that we can while it lasts because it's not going to last, certainly not in its present form forever. Yeah, so right now you see we have a Marriott on stream, we have a, a, a Jungle Bay, a Kempinski, and hopefully now a Hilton. So now we have many brands now on the island. And what I decided to do was to do something slightly different. Instead of just having regular hotel rooms, we decided to also implement some villas as well. So one could decide to rent a two-bedroom villa, a three-bedroom villa, and so on. Well, the CBI funds is not just crucial to, to this investment. It's the only you know, way we could, have get, you know, we could have gotten the funds we need or the funds needed to actually get this done. Um, you know, everyone here on this island, I, I think, are fooled by thinking that there are other ways of raising capital. But this is, a, this is the best way of raising capital for us to do this. And all the hotels are benefiting from it. And all the island, the, the entire island, will also benefit from it. So me selling citizenship is something I'm very proud of. And I think something that all of us Dominicans should actually get behind and help move this country forward. 
Dominica has suffered more than many other Caribbean nations from natural disasters such as the deadly Category 5 Hurricane Maria in 2017 and Tropical Storm Erica in 2015. Both left many homes uninhabitable and displaced thousands of people. Many left the island after the latest disaster. But the signs are that waves of people are coming back to new jobs in ecologically friendly tourism and to live in newly constructed housing. But the transformation is not just the result of the government scheme. It is testament to the resilience of the tropical island's people. And what makes Dominicans even more proud is that they are achieving their country's economic rebirth without going cap in hand to the international community.